6-4, day 6. Solving applied problems involving exponential functions. Our objective is to model a word problem by using an exponential model. Let's take a look at number 1 as an example. Rabbit population problem. When rabbits were introduced to Australia in the mid-1800s, they had no natural enemies. As a result, their population grew exponentially with time. The general equation of the exponential function r, where r of t is the number of rabbits and t is time in years, is given by r of t is equal to a times e to the kt. t represents time in years and r represents the number of rabbits. So now we have part A. Suppose there were 60,000 rabbits in 1865. And we'll let 1865 be represented by t is equal to 0. And suppose that the population had grown to 2,400,000 by two years later. 1867 is two years after 1865. If 1865 is t is equal to 0, 1867 would be t is equal to 2. So we have two ordered pairs, and our ordered pairs are t comma r. t for the year and r for the number of rabbits. 1865, we're going to use 0 for t, and there were 60,000 rabbits. 1867, we're going to use 2 for t because that's 2 years after 1865. So 0 plus 2 is 2. And at that time, there were 2,400,000 rabbits. So we have two ordered pairs that we know from the given information. Substitute these values of t and r to get two equations involving the constants a and k. So we have our general model here, and we want to figure out what A should be and what K should be for the particular situation that we have. Use these equations to solve for A and K, that's what we want to do now, and then write the particular equation expressing the rabbit population as a function of time. After we do part A, we can do part B. How many rabbits does your model predict that would have been in 1870? So after we have our model, 1870 is five years after 1865. So we would just substitute five for t in our model and solve for the number of rabbits. And in part C, it says, according to your model, when was the first pair of rabbits introduced into Australia? In other words, for what year was the population of rabbits equal to 2? We want to figure out the year when the population of rabbits was equal to 2. And of course, it's going to be before 1865, because by 1865, there were already 60,000 rabbits. So we'll get a negative value for t, and we'll interpret that as the number of years before 1865. So let's start with part A. So here's what we have for part A, and we're going to begin by substituting 0 for t and 60,000 for r in the given model. And then we'll also take the second ordered pair and do the same thing, substitute 2 for t and 2,400,000 for r. Our objective now is to find what a and k should be. What we have here is a system of two equations and two unknowns, and our two unknowns are a and k. One way to solve such a system is by using the substitution method. But actually, in this problem, it's not so bad, because if you look at the first equation, we can solve that easily for a. Because what we have here is k times 0 is 0. So we have e raised to the 0 power, and that would give us 60,000 is equal to a times e to the 0 power, 
And we know e to the 0 is 1. So we actually know that a has to be equal to 60,000 because e to the 0 is 1. So we can take this and we can substitute for a in the second equation and we would then be able to solve for k. So how do we solve this equation for k? Well, the first thing that we can do is to isolate the exponential expression because k is a part of the exponential expression e to the k times 2 or e to the 2k. So for us to isolate k, we will begin by isolating the exponential expression e to the 2k and we can do that by dividing both sides of the equation by 60,000. When we do that, we'll get 40 on the left side, and on the right side, of course, 60,000 will cancel with 60,000, leaving us with just e to the 2k. And now we have to solve for k. So we have to isolate the exponent in the exponential expression e to the 2k. So the way we accomplish that is by doing the inverse operation of what's being done to 2k. What are we doing to 2k? We're exponentiating with base e. So the function is e to the x. The inverse of e to the x is natural log of x. So to undo this exponentiation with base e, we must take the natural log of both sides of the equation to undo the exponentiation with base e. So that would give us the natural log of 40 on the left side and the natural log of e to the 2k on the right side. So we have the natural log of 40 is equal to, again, the purpose of doing this is so that we would undo the exponentiation with base e, and now we have 2k is equal to natural log of 40. So what is k? k is equal to the natural log of 40 divided by 2. And of course, what we did was we divided both sides of this equation by 2 to get k is equal to the natural log of 40 divided by 2. When you use your calculator, you find that k is approximately equal to 1.8444-39727. I don't want to round because I want to use this as a part of my model. And if I round, I will introduce rounding error when I try to solve the other parts of the problem. Now that we have found the values of a and k, we can go ahead and complete part a and write the model for the number of rabbits like this. a is 60,000, and we have 60,000 times e to the kt. k is 1.8444. 727 times t, where t represents the number of years after 1960, after 1865. So we just did part A. We found the values of A and K for our problem, and this is what we call the particular equation, expressing the number of rabbits as a function of time. So now part B, how many rabbits does your model predict there would have been in 1870? Again, 1870 is five years after 1865. T is equal to zero represents, represents 1865. So five years after that would be represented by T is equal to five. So now that we have our model, it's really easy. We just need to substitute five for T in our model and use our calculator to evaluate. So there's the 5 substituted for t. So what is r of 5 equal to? We use our calculator and we get that it is approximately equal to 607,157,311. So now we go to part c. According to your model, when was the first pair of rabbits introduced into Australia? 
So here's our model that we found in part A. To do part C, it's asking us, according to your model, when was the first pair of rabbits introduced into Australia? The first pair means there were two rabbits. So what we want to know is, what was the time at which the population of rabbits was equal to two? And it would be before 1865, because by 1865, we already had 60,000 rabbits. So we're going to get a negative value for t, and that would be interpreted as the number of years before 1865. So what we need to do is we need to substitute 2 for r in this equation and solve for t. So when we do that, we will have the following. So how do we solve this equation for t? Again, you need to begin by isolating the exponential expression. And the way you'll do that is by dividing both sides of the equation by 60,000. So, so that will give us 2 divided by 60,000 on the left side of the equation. You can reduce it, but we don't have to. It's OK. We'll end up using our calculator anyhow. On the right side, you can cancel the common factor of 60,000, and you'd be left with e to the 1.844439727t. And of course, now we'd like to solve for t. So what we have to do is we have to begin by isolating the exponent in the exponential expression e to the 1.844439727t. And as we did in part b, the way we will do that is by recognizing that the inverse operation of exponentiating with base e is to take the natural logarithm. So we will take the natural logarithm of both sides of this equation to isolate the exponent. So we take the natural log of both sides, and that would give us, on the right side of the equation, 1.844439727t. And on the left side of the equation, we have the natural log of 2 over 60,000. And of course, we want to solve for t. We want to know how many years before 1865. Uh, at which the population of rabbits was exactly equal to 2. So to solve for that, we would now divide both sides of the equation by 1.844439727. And what we do now is we use our calculator to solve for t. So what is t approximately equal to? Do this on your calculator, and you'll find what t is approximately equal to. So we get t is approximately equal to negative 5.59. So we interpret that as about five and a half years before t is equal to 0, which is 1865. So it's about five and a half years before 1865. So five and a half years before 1865 would be like sometime in 1859. So according to our model, the first pair of rabbits was introduced to Australia around 1859, about five and a half years before 1865. So today we looked at a word problem that we were able to solve. Uh, and our problem was modeled by an exponential model, an exponential function.